can help us instead of tearing him down. But what do you do when the president makes a move that is worthy of respect from all sides and the media won't say a word about it? What do you do when the media completely, um, you know, shuts down any coverage of something like the move that Senator Tim Scott addressed on CBS's Face the Nation yesterday? Here's what he said. My understanding is he moved the date once he understood the Juneteenth. I'm not sure that the planners on his uh, inner circle team thought about June 19th, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and race riots. Uh, unless you're doing a historical check, you probably don't, don't get those dots connected. But I, I have always said my staff in Washington is an incredibly diverse staff, and diversity on our staffs help us avoid some of the, the pitfalls. The president, fortunately, uh, has some folks that used to work with me, Jerron, and others who uh, I think helped to inform and educate the president on why Tulsa, Oklahoma, June 19th was not the best date to do it on it. And to his credit, he moved it. So that's good news. That's Senator Tim Scott, who has been uh, a, a leading voice for police reform, for the a, a real important part of the national dialogue we're having. The left hates him because, after all, he's a Republican. But they don't quite know what to do. Don't quite know to know what to do about his race. That's problematic for them, because this is a black man who has experienced racism in his life and has shared that openly with the world. So he's a he's like a unicorn. He's a very difficult difficult guy for the Trump hating universe to shut down. Again, it's 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 a matter of just understanding that the media is playing a role in this trying to influence as many people as they can by doing all they can to try to guarantee that Trump won't be re-elected. 